This news update is brought to you by Grab somebody and tell them hello. It's Friday, July the 31st, 2015, and this is your Barbados Today Morning News Update. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Thanks for joining us. We begin with good news from the industry relations front. There's been a settlement to the two-month-old labor dispute between the customs officers and the government that sparked a go slow and at times strike action at the island's ports of entry. The three trade unions, which represent the customs workers, back the go slow primarily to force the withdrawal of option forms is to the staff to determine who wanted to be employed by the Barbados Revenue Authority, the BRA. At least one union, the National Union of Public Workers, had contended that the forms should not have been issued while negotiations related to the transition on the BRA were ongoing. But last evening at government headquarters, Minister of Finance Chris Sinkler chaired a four-hour meeting with the unions during which agreement was reached for an immediate end to the ghost law, a withdrawal of the forms, and a commitment to meet again the 5th of next month to try to resolve all outstanding grievances. There are one or two juggernaut issues um, that need to be addressed. You would have heard it in relation to appointments, um, and issues in relation to um, securing all of the pension rates of persons, issues pertaining um, to supersession and delays can be removed and being addressed by the chief personnel officer. Um, these are issues that are critical. Uh, and as I've always said, we don't want people to go into the BRA in a disgruntled form to disrupt, uh, so to speak, the operations of the BRA. That would not be in the best interest of the organization. So we want to ensure that. Uh, everybody is as comfortable as humanly possible, knowing that we can't get total and ideal comfort for everything. Minister St. Clair also apologized to the business community, Barbadians, who used the ports of entry as well as visitors who were inconvenienced by the customs industrial action. I want to take the opportunity to apologize to the public for any, uh, both the uh, domestic public, uh, citizens of Barbados, but also visitors uh, to the country where they is. Um, returning nationals or, uh, or visitors from abroad uh, coming as tourists uh, for any inconvenience which they may have um, experienced uh, on a various ports of entry. In other news now, police are warning residents to take extra special precautions to protect themselves and their personal property as the Crop Over Festival climaxes this coming weekend. Crime Prevention Officer Acting Inspector Stephen Griffith says there are simple but important things individuals can do to be safe. If you're leaving home, I would expect that persons will take a couple of minutes to ensure that their homes are extremely secured before they're leaving. That is to say that I want you to check your windows and doors carefully. Uh, don't leave in an effort to rush up the house, leaving the keys in the doors. Um, check to ensure that you don't leave um, valuables, large sums of money or cash in the home. By now you should be securing that money within the, um, the appropriate banks to ensure that there, there is nothing in the house that can be taken. Um, in the evening when you're returning home, we expect that you will leave some lighting around so that you can see clearly. Please do not wait until you get to your door then to be searching in the bottom of your bag or in the back of the car somewhere for keys to enter the home. Meanwhile, police have given notice that law enforcement officers will show zero tolerance for revelers who invade masquerade bands on Kadumant Day. In sports now, more medals for Barbados in the Special Olympics World Games on Thursday. Tyson Brown won his second gold medal after finishing first in the 800-meter run. He won his first in the 400-meter on Wednesday. Meanwhile, Felicia McLennan also won gold 
this time in the Boshi singles. It is her second World Games medal after winning silver in the unified team Boshi. Tiffany Branch won silver in the 100 meter sprint. There's regional and international news after this short break. CBC is bringing crop over your way. Enjoy the color, the sights, and the sounds of the Barbados Crop Over Festival. Simply log on to www.barbadostoday.bb and book your favorite event. For just 25 US dollars or 51 Barbados dollars each, you can watch Soko Royale or Piccadilly Crop Finals. And for just 10 US dollars or 21 Barbados dollars, overseas viewers can watch Grand Kadumet. Be in the festival. Log on to www.barbadostoday.bb and book now. With CBC and Barbados Today, Crop Over is only a click away. regional scene, controversial ILP political leader Jack Warner has been ordered to pay former Attorney General Anand Ram Logan close to $1 million in defamation damages. In a 57-page judgment yesterday morning, Justice Robin Mohammed ordered Warner to pay $600,000 in general damages, $200,000 in exemplary damages, and $94,000 in prescribed costs. The judge granted a stay of execution of the judgment of 28 days. Warner had claimed that Ram Logan had acquired over 51 properties corruptly while he served as Attorney General and that he was an, a dangerous man. Ram Logan sued for defamation of character and produced evidence from the Integrity Commission to show that he did not in fact own such properties. Immediately following the ruling, Ram Logan told reporters that Warner who is facing extradition to the United States on fraud and money laundering charges, should pay him his money now, considering the short time he has in Trinidad. Um, when one considers they failed in the family case of $600,000, today's judgment, inclusive of um, the cost that will be assessed, will probably um, reach the million figure. So it's a million-dollar judgment in a defamation matter. And yes, it is definitely one of the highest awards in a defamation case. For this, I have to thank my legal team, led by Mr. Avery Sinanan, Senior Counsel, Mr. Gerald Ramdeen, Mr. Kelvin Ramkisul, and Mr. Varun Devideen, who stood beside me and um, prosecuted this case before the court with the utmost diligence and professionalism. How much do you think that appeal is a world up to? Well, if Mr. Warren appeals, I may very well consider appealing to say the amount should go up. And I would obviously hope that if he wants to appeal, he should pay the money into court, um, given the limited duration of time he might have left in Trinidad and Tobago. And finally, on the global front, Boeing investigators are confident that debris found on a remote island in the Indian Ocean comes from a 777 aircraft. An international team of aviation experts is trying to determine if that airplane part comes from the Malaysian Airlines Flight 370, a Boeing 777 that disappeared in March 2014 with 239 people on board. A match might help solve the mystery of what happened to that airplane since no other 777s in the world are unaccounted for. According to the Aviation Safety Network, an online database of flight incidents, 
people cleaning the beach found the debris Wednesday on Reunion Island, a French overseas territory in the Western Indian Ocean. Ever since then, the news has been coming in that, yes, it does look like a Boeing 777. The Prime Minister from Malaysia stating that it is highly likely to be a Boeing 777, the Boeing 777. Um, and we have just learned also that images of uh, that aircraft um, washed up on the island here, Reunion Island, uh, do match schematic drawings for the right wing flapper on from a Boeing 777 aircraft. A photograph of the interior of that part published by a French language Reunion Island news site here in Re Reunion Island shows that stenciled component number um, that is uh, the, almost like a VIN number for vehicles. And that's where we end our Barbados Today morning news update. However, you can join us again this afternoon. Until then, remember to log on to www.barbadostoday.bb, subscribe to our e-paper and email updates, or like us on Facebook. You can also catch us on Izumi Media in bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. Also tune in to Channel 101 on Lime TV and Mix 96.9 FM to get all the latest news and sports. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Have a fantastic day. Our valued partners for the BT Popover Superstar Competition, Flow, Banks, the Barbados Tourism Marketing Inc., Izumi Media and Liberty Store.